morning with your love. Yes, George, you frightened me. Now, George, you can come in a minute out of the wet, but you know I can't ask you in. Why not? George, you know as well as I do, the groom can't see his bride on his wedding day, not until he sees her in church. Ah, that's just a superstition. Good morning, Mr. Webb. Good morning, George. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe in that superstition, do you? There's a lot of common sense in some superstitions, George. Millions have followed it, George, if you don't want to be the first to find a place across them. Well, how's Emily? Doesn't wake up yet. Haven't heard a sound out of her. Emily's asleep? No wonder. We were up till all hours, sewing and packing. Now I tell you what I'll do. You sit here a minute with Mr. Webb and drink this cup of coffee, and I'll go upstairs and see if she doesn't come down and surprise you. There's some bacon, too. Don't be long about it. Well, George, how are you? <laughs> fine, fine. Mr. Webb, what sense could there be in superstition like that? Oh, well, on a wedding day, a girl's mind's apt to be all full of uh, 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 clothes, <coughs> one thing and another. Don't you think that's probably it, George? Yes, I never thought of that. Girls have to be my nervous on a wedding day, George. <coughs> I wish a fella could get married without all that marching up and down. <laughs> Every man has ever lived has felt that way about it, George. But it hasn't done it any good. It's the women folk who built up weddings, my boy. For a long time now, they, they've had them all to themselves. Uh, a man looks awful small. At a wedding, George. It's all those good women standing there, shoulder to shoulder, seeing that the knot's tied. The <laughs> but do you believe in it, don't you, Mr. Webb? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> don't you misunderstand me, boy. Marriage is a wonderful thing, George. It's a wonderful thing. Don't you forget it. No, sir. Mr. Webb, how old were you when you got married? Oh, well, I, I'd been away at college, and, uh, and I'd taken a little while to, to settle down. But, but now Mrs. Webb, well, Mrs. Webb wasn't much older than Emily is now. now age, age hasn't much to do with it, George. Not compared with uh, uh, other things. What were you going to say, Mr. Webb? Oh, was I going to say something? <laughs> hmm. I was thinking the other day of, uh, of some advice that my father gave me when I got married. <laughs> he said uh, that my father said, uh, Charles, he said, said, Charles, best thing you can do <coughs> is to start right out showing her who's <coughs> boss. He said, uh, Best thing you can do, Charles, is to just give her an order, even if it don't make any sense, just so she'll learn to obey. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, he said, if she ever does anything that irritates you, conversation, anything, just get right up and leave the house. <laughs> he said that would make it clear to her. And uh, he said, uh, he said, never, never, never tell your wife how much money you have. Never! <laughs> um, Mr. Webb, I don't think that I could... So, I just did the exact opposite of my father's advice, and I've been happy ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let that be a lesson to you. Let that be a lesson. Never to ask for advice in personal matters. <laughs>